Yeah. All right. So we had um, a pretty decent training last week, and few people asked if we could actually repeat it uh, and talk about it again. So I said yes because I'm a, such a nice guy. <laughs> but, so you now you saw the business opportunity presentation. So in the next few minutes, I'd like to share with you how you actually can build this business and become successful. Would you like to know that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So. I'll give you a little bit of background because what I'm, what I'm about to share with you is uh, what we call a DMO or a daily method of operation for success in the business, right? So what do you need to do on a daily basis in order to become successful in this business? You know, because some people think that all you need in this business is motivation. If you just be motivated enough, you'll become successful, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, I've, a long time ago I heard somebody said, if you take an idiot and motivate him, you have a motivated idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he still doesn't know what to do, right? So, so that's why I'm going to show, show you today a, a daily method of operation, a plan that you could use to become successful. But I wanted to give you a little bit of a background why I've developed it and, and, and for what reason, right? Because I always, when I teach somebody uh, or something, I like to teach you why should you do that, not just, hey, do that, right? So, so recently we came back from Las Vegas and actually uh, Kashima and Omar was with us. We went to an event called Go Pro, right? This is the biggest network marketing event in the world. Uh, there was about 10,000 people in attendance at that event. And at that event, you have people who, make, you are, who are making network marketing $100,000 a month, $200,000 a month, $300,000 a month. So fairly successful. Would you agree with that? Right? If somebody's making over $3 million a year only from network marketing, that's pretty successful. Would you agree? Yes. Right? So I was that, at that event and it was incredible. It was very motivational. It was powerful. I was sitting there like, oh my gosh, we were crying there. We were laughing there. We were like, it was insane. Like it was probably the most powerful event that I've ever been to. Uh, and there's a picture of that as well. Uh, that <laughs> I've ever been to in my life. You know? And I've been to Tony Robbins event where I walked on fire. And this was still more powerful for me. Okay, so um, okay, so let's not get distracted with that because I can see now there's going to be a, a nonsense from that. So let's 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 put that iPad back if we can, and let's let's rock and roll with the trainer. Uh, so, but the only thing I was sitting there, I was thinking, if only my team members were here, yeah. if only my leaders were here, watching this, learning from this, it would explode my business, right? And guess what? I've been at events before where I said, if only my team members were here. If only my team members, and I would say if only, and I'd go home and do absolutely nothing, right? And next time I'm on my own again, right? So this time I thought, okay, I have to change something. I need to do something different if I want my team members to be there, right? So I, I made a decision to commit. So I went and I bought 10 tickets for the next GoPro this December, December 2019. And I paid two and a half thousand dollars for that, right? for 10 tickets because they're $250 each, right? It's a huge discount because usually they're over $350, right? So I bought those 10 tickets because now I will be forced to promote the event. I'll be forced to encourage my team members, right? Because otherwise I just wasted 2,000 pounds of my money, right? Unless I sell those tickets to my team members and bring them with me, right? So that was a commitment on my part, right? But then I thought, okay, how can I get people to come with me, right? How can I get them to make a decision to go with me, right? So I thought, okay, I went live into my uh, team's group and I said, guys, if you commit, if you buy the GoPro ticket from me for, for 200 pounds for next December, I will work with you personally one-to-one -one, for the next 12 months to make sure that you make enough money to pay for the fly ticket, to pay for the hotel ticket and to pay for the, for, for the hotel cost and for the thing. So the whole thing works out 1,200 pounds. 500 for the flight, 500 for the hotel, and 200 for the event ticket, right? So that's 1,200 pounds, divide that by 12 months, that's 100 quid a month, right? All they have to do is earn 100 pounds extra a month to put away so that by the end of the year, we can go. Now, my goal, of course, is to help them to make a lot more than that, right? But at least that much so that when we go together to Las Vegas, they can see I've earned this money to pay for my trip, right? Okay. However, there's a problem because in network marketing, we cannot guarantee income because income depends on each and every person's effort and the time they invest, etc. So I thought, how on earth can I guarantee the income? Well, the only way for me to guarantee the income is to make sure that they do the activity required in order to make the money, right? 
But there lies the problem. Because most of us come into network marketing because we want to get away from the boss. We want to get away from the job. We want to become independent and free, right? So nobody tells us when to go to the toilet, when to go on lunch, when can take the holiday, right? But there lies the problem. Because most of us, we want that freedom. Because most of us, we want to be independent. We come to a home-based business and we do absolutely nothing, right? Because in a job, when you have a manager, when you have a supervisor who's kicking your ass every single day, you're either going to do the job or you're going to get fired. One of the two, right? So the job place will get activity out of you. They'll get productivity out of you, right? But in a business, you come here and you're your own boss. Then nobody can tell you what to do. You don't have a boss, right? So you do absolutely nothing. And then you go six months later or a year later or three years later, you go, oh, the business doesn't work. Oh, the product doesn't work. Oh, my sponsor is not supporting me, right? You basically blame everything except yourself for your lack of income, right? So I thought how the only way for me to ensure that my team members make enough money to come with me to Las Vegas next year is to ensure that they do the activity, right? So I developed the DMO. The five points, very simple to do, nothing that, not, you know, each and every one of you here can do what I'll show you, right? No doubt, 100%, right? So a simple plan of action. However, if I just go to them, hey, you need to do this, 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 this. Do you think they're going to do it? Of course, well, maybe they'll do it for a day or two <laughs> and then they're going to stop, right? Because there's no boss, there's nobody supervising them, there's no, there's no, there is no accountability, right? In the job, you have accountability to your boss, to your manager, to your student. That's why you do the job. No, because you love it. No, because you want to, right? It's because you know that at the end of the day, you're going to get told off if you don't do the work, right? So I thought, okay, what I'll do, I'll start what I called millionaires in training. So I started a small group of people for the leaders in, in our team. I called it millionaires in training. So with this group of people, I work closely one-to-one -one, and as a reward for them doing the activity every single day and sending me the report at the end of every single day. So I'm going to show you my team members, my leaders are sending me on a daily basis. They're sending me a report. I did that. I did that. I did that. I did that. As a reward for that, they get two to three coaching sessions a week with me which means I work with them on a personal level, help them to grow as a person, as a leader, uh, help them to overcome a lot of challenges, come up with ideas and come up you know, with plans how to overcome different obstacles and things like that, right? But they only get that if they do the activity. So there has to be both personal development and activity. You can't have one without the other, right? If you have loads of personal development but no activity, there'll be no results. If you have loads of activity but no personal development, Again, you'll reach a limit on how much you can progress, right? So I combine the two and I offer them to do it, right? And people who agree, again, it's voluntary. So I haven't forced anybody into it. I, I asked every single person, I, I told them what it is. I showed them what I'm going to show you today. And I said to them, you can make a decision if you want to do it or not. If you want to do it, I'll help you. If you're not ready, totally cool. I understand that, right? And I'll explain to you how it all works, right? Does that make sense so far? Mm -hmm. yes. Right? So I just give you a little bit of background to understand why I developed it and why we started it. Because sometimes people just don't get it. You know, why, why would you do something like that, right? Okay. So then we have to understand who would this, who is this for and who is this activity level not for, right? Because you think again. Well, this is for everybody, right? Our business is for everybody and this action plan is also for everybody. Not exactly. Because in network marketing, we have three groups of people. We have 80%, we have 15%, and we have 5%. So 80% of people in network marketing have a desire level to earn zero to 500 pounds a month. Zero to 500 pounds a month. Now, yeah, You'll be surprised. They'll go, well, who would want to earn zero money in the business, right? You would be surprised. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of people in our business who are using the products, who are coming to the meetings, who love all the positive people and all of that, but they have no desire level of going and crushing it and becoming a diamond and making 100000 a year, standing on a stage in front of thousands of people and so on. They just have no desire for that, right? And it is absolutely fine. It's okay, right? 
Because guess what? Even if they do their monthly shopping from FM every single month, is that good for you as a leader? Yeah, that still puts money into your pocket, right? So we don't need to force every single person in our business to go and crush it and to become a diamond, right? So that's first group. Second group of people are 15% and they have a desire to earn 2,000 to 3,000 pounds per month, right? So they have a desire level to develop a full-time income in this business, right? So they will work slightly harder, right, in this business. And then the last group, 5%, have a desire level of earning 25,000 or more per month, right? And these are usually the leaders, etc., right? Now, guess what? Because the leaders are this, this group, guess what they think? They think that everybody else is also a 25,000 25, person leader, right? That's what they think, that they want to turn everybody into the 5%, right? But they're not. So this DMO that I'm going to share with you, anytime today, guys. I'm only trying to do a training here. You know, I know you've been like musical chairs here. <laughs> so I'll just give you a little minute. <laughs> right? So, so this DMO is not for everybody. It's definitely not for the 80 percenters, right? And don't confuse, this is a desire level, right? So some of you are thinking, well, I'm not yet even earning 500 pounds a month, so I belong in this group. You don't. Just the fact that you're here shows me that you probably have a higher desire level because you wouldn't be here at 7.30 in the evening, etc. You'd be somewhere else, right? So just because you're here, you probably have a higher desire level. You want to make more money in the business, right? So this is not actual result. It's a desire level. You might have a desire level of 25,000 pounds a month, but you're earning less than 500 at the moment, right? But you have the desire level, right? So it's very important to understand. So this, if I went to the 80% and I said, hey, you have to do activities every single day, you have to report back to me, etc. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to go into witness protection program, right? They're going to stop answering phone calls. They're going to stop reading emails. They're going to move to another city just so that I don't talk to them about the business anymore, right? So I don't want to do that. I don't want to scare away a, a lot of people from my business, right? That's why I open it up to those people who are hungry, you know? So when you recruit somebody and you're talking to somebody and they have a hunger, they want to go and crush it, they want to become successful, these are the people who you are. You know, but if you're speaking to somebody and they go, well, I'm just intending to order products once a month for my own use, right? You're not going to go, hey, and I've got something I want to show you, you know? Yeah, no, 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 right? So you have to use common sense and, and, and give this to appropriate people. Make sense so far? Yes. yes. Okay. So in network marketing, there is two ways how you can build your network marketing business. One is prospecting. And the second one is marketing. Right? So prospecting is when you actively reach out to somebody, whether face-to-face -face or on Facebook or on WhatsApp or on email, and ask them, hey, would you take a look at my business, right? That's prospecting, right? Marketing is when you put some content out there with the hope that somebody sees it and responds back to you, right? So for example, if I make a video and I put it on YouTube about the FM business opportunity or whatever, that's marketing because I'm hoping that one day somebody sees that video and responds back to me. If I go on Facebook Live and I do a Facebook Live and then I do a call to action at the end, that's marketing, right? If I go and put some leaflets through the door, that's marketing. If I go to my local barber and leave a poster with my business, that's marketing, right? So marketing is when you do something and then you wait for people to call you. Prospecting is when you're reaching out to people, right? So prospecting is a great short-term strategy and marketing is a great long-term strategy, right? Because if, if I start my business now, right? And I go, well, all I'm going to do is Facebook lives. And I'll wait for people to come to me. It's going to be a long wait. <laughs> and I'm going to be making not a lot of money to begin with, right? Because like one of the mentors that uh, uh, I'm learning from is Ray Higdon, right? When Ray Higdon first started doing a video every single day, it took him six months to get the first person to reach out to him. To go, hey, I saw your video, I want to join your team. That's 150 videos with zero result before he got his first lead. Now, his email list is like 250,000 people, you know, and like he, his company is multi-million company, right? 
but it takes some time, right? Most of people, they just don't have patience. You know, that's the problem, right? So this is a long term, but long term, is it worth, was it worth it for him to do those videos every day? Of course, now he's making millions from that. He doesn't need to go look for people now. People are coming to him, right? But at the beginning, he was, he was doing one video a day, but not sitting and then waiting for the rest of the day. I hope somebody calls, right? Then for the rest of the day, he was prospecting, right? So your daily routine should look like that. This is your marketing, and this is your prospecting, right? So at the beginning, you do a lot of prospecting. Hey, would you take a look? Hey, would you take a look? Hey, would you take a look, right? Until you've done enough marketing that it starts to bring people to you, right? Make sense so far, right? And this is active, and marketing is passive. Right? So we all want that. I know this is a lot tastier, right? Oh, I just put a video and then people call me and go, hey, I want to join your team. How lovely that would be, right? So everybody wants that and that's why most people don't prospect. They are so scared to talk to people. They are so scared to start doing the work, right? But that's what's going to make you money at the beginning. That's what's going to get you recruits at the beginning. That's what's going to get you sales at the beginning, right? So you can't neglect this and just go, oh, I'll just wait for attraction marketing. I just wait for things to come, right? You can't. You have to do both. I mean, you can do one, but then you're okay then not making money for the first year or so. Right? If you're okay with that, then knock yourself out. Just keep doing Facebook Lives, right? Or if you just do this, then be prepared that you're going to be prospecting people for the rest of your life. Yeah. Which is the passive one? It's the marketing. Process. Because you do something and then you wait. No reason why I'm yeah, is, 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 is that the right way around? In terms of how you, you've done your illustration. Oh, no, the illustration is not right. right, right. Oh, so no, this right. is marketing, that's okay, prospecting. Cool. Yeah, yeah, very, thank you very much for pointing that out. Right? So, so yeah, so it should, be, it should be like that. That should be marketing, and this should be prospecting, right? Okay. Better now? Right, I'll know for the future. That's the I's and C's. Right, exactly, 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 right? So I need to always have a green personality in the room so that they can correct me, you know, because I get carried away, right? But does that make sense so far? Right? Okay, so the DMO, the daily method of operation that we created, has no marketing in it. It has only prospecting in it, okay? Because that's the most important thing short term. If I want that person to make money now and to save enough money to go to Las Vegas with me, they need to start doing prospecting. If they want to do some Facebook Lives, totally cool, and most of my millionaires in training, they do Facebook Lives and they do other content, etc., right, to attract people to themselves, but they, this is compulsory. That is optional. It's up to them if they want to do it, right? Okay, so how many of you would like to see the actual DMO, what they have to do? Right, just one? Oh, two, three, four? Okay, okay, because I, I, I want to stop the training then. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual DMO, right? So daily method of operation, right? DMO, right? So first thing is, there's actually five things that they have to do. So first thing is five conversations on social media, right? Five conversations on social media, right? So a lot of network marketers, they join at Romeo, they've been in there and they go, I need to find people, I need to find people, where can I find people, right? without realizing that they're actually sitting on hundreds or even thousands of contacts. What do I mean? Your Facebook friends. If I checked your account, I'm pretty sure all of you will have either hundreds or some of you even thousands of friends on Facebook, right? Now, most people have never had a conversation with like 90% of the Facebook friends. So they go, everybody I know knows about my business. You sure? Oh yeah, I put a post on my Facebook. Like nobody saw that post. Like 1% maybe saw that post that you put on Facebook. 90% of your Facebook friends, they have no clue that you're in network marketing, that you're doing this business. So your first step for them is to start five conversations. Who do they spoke to? What's the outcome? Who do they spoke to? What's the outcome? Who do they spoke to? What's the outcome, right? So just messaging everybody and I'll tell you what to say in a minute. Don't, don't get panicking on me, right? Like, oh, I don't know what to say to people on Facebook, right? I'll tell you exactly what to say, right? But that's their goal. Five every single day. Every single day they have to reach out to five, right? As you'll see, the DMO is very simple and it's not about you going and crushing it in one day, right? Because can you become a diamond in one day? Unfortunately, I haven't seen one, right? It takes, it's about consistency. 
right? That's my word of the day. That's been my word of the day for the past four months. Consistency. Well, anything will work for you in this business if only you do it consistently every single day. That's why this is called daily method of operation. Not Monday to Friday method of operation. Not when I feel like it method of operation. Mm -hmm. Daily. Seven days a week, right? They do it. My leaders, my millions, millionaires in training do it every single day and they send me the report every single day because that builds a habit. Because if you do it a few days, then don't do it a few days, then do it a few days, it's so easy to mess it all up. But if you do it every single day, it becomes a natural part of your day. It becomes daily uh, habit, right? And habits will shape your destiny, right? So it's very, very important, right? Five course And they have to write, you know, I spoke to Tom, that's the outcome. I spoke to Mary, that's the outcome. So that's first. Second is five conversations with team, with team members, right? Team members. Okay, so again, a lot of, never mind, think if I recruit somebody, that's it, job done, right? Go look for next one, right? right? That was my attitude. You know, when I first started in this business, my, my philosophy was throw them all against the wall and see who sticks. <laughs> right? Not a very good philosophy, I can tell you that, right? So you have to build relationships with your leaders. You have to build relationships with your recruits so that they even start doing something. If you like me, if you had, if you had a lot of zeros in the past in your team, it's not people who are lazy. It's not business that is bad. It's the you because you haven't built enough relationship, you haven't kept in touch, you haven't showed them what to do, right? Because a lot of us just assume, well, they know what to do, you know, go talk to people, show brother. Mm -hmm. They know squat, right? You have to teach them, right? So that's a way for them to keep in touch. If they call five team members every single day, guess what? They'll have some relationships happening, they'll create some activity, right? And this is again, not talk about weather, right? This is promoting. Right? Either product or promotion or training, event, incentive, and things like that, right? So they don't call just, hey, Shabana, how's the weather in London? Hope you're well. How's it going? Right? No, 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 no. They call on purpose because leaders or influencers in network marketing, one of the qualities of a leader, of an influencer, is they create action where action wouldn't have happened. So that person might have just been sitting there all month doing nothing, right? But just because you called them and went, hey Anna, did you see this 40% off that product? Maybe they'll go and buy it. Hey Omar, did you see that there's a training on the 20th? Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't, right? And he'll come. Because some of you are still under the illusion that all of your people are monitoring the Facebook group and they're all watching what's happening on Facebook, WhatsApp chat and they're all checking the company website every day. Wake up! Nobody's checking it. Nobody's watching it. Nobody cares what you're putting on that group. Like 1% maybe will read, right? So you need to be communicating with your team and letting them know about that stuff, promoting it, right? You have to become promoting machine. Hey, did you see that training? Hey, did you see that discount? Hey, did you see that trip? Hey, did you see that new incentive, right? That gives you an excuse to call these people and talk to them, right? Because that's what we need to do, right? So that's number two, right? Make sense so far? Yes. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Number three is share product. So you have to share product with at least one person a day, right? Now, not sell a product to somebody, Right? Share, which means the whole point of the DMO, the focus is on the activity, not on the result. Because you can control activity, you cannot control result. You cannot control how many people will join your team, you cannot control how many people will buy your product, but you can control how many messages will you send, how many people you will reach out to. Right? You can control your activity, but you cannot control your results, right? That's why here, I'm not saying recruit five people on Facebook, sell two products, except because then you'll be disappointed every single evening, right? Because, oh, again, I didn't recruit free, right? But if it says send five messages, how hard is it to do that? What's the chance you're going to fail at that? No chance, right? Unless you, you just didn't do it, right? But you, if you want copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, that's it. You've done it. You can go tick, completed that, tick, completed that, right? Makes sense? 
So this is like, again, share one product, which means ask somebody, hey, would you take a look at my product? Hey, would you take a, this free sample? Hey, would you like to try that, right? Just asking them, if they say no, like again, who did you ask? What's the outcome? So the outcome might be not interested, not interested, not interested, not interested. I'll go, great, well done. I'm not gonna go, oh, you know, day was crap, right? You are a useless team member, right? You didn't recruit anybody, didn't sell anything. What do you even do in my team, right? No, 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 no. Because what do I know? If they keep doing this every single day, guess what's gonna happen? Somebody will say yes. Somebody will say yes, I'll take a look at that product. Yes, I'll take a look at your business. Yeah, I wanna join your team, right? It's, it's inevitable, right? Um, one of the things you have to think it's like, again, your goals. You know when we get at the beginning of the year, a lot of people set their goals. Oh, I want to be a diet. I want to have this dream house. I want to drive this amazing car, right? Those are result goals. And they're okay, but they're not great. Why? Because result is an effect. You know you have cause and effect in life, right? So there is cause and there is effect. And your goals, results... Is an effect, right? It's effect, right? So what is the cause? What causes that effect? What causes that dream house? What causes that dream car? What causes that income? What? Don't keep nodding. What? Action. Action. Yes. Action causes it, right? So there's no point where you go, look at your bank and go, I want more money, I want more money, I want more money. Like you can do this all day long for the next 12 months. There ain't going to be more money in your bank account. I can promise you that. You can visualize, you can do, um, um, right? You can listen to Kundalini yoga, right? All day long. Ain't going to happen. I can promise you that. But if you focus on the core, what causes me to have more money, what causes me to get the result, which is action, then you're probably going to get it. Right? So one of the most powerful things you can do is develop a stack of habits that makes your success, that makes the result inevitable. I love that word. Inevitable. Right? What could you do every single day that makes that goal of yours guaranteed? Like there's no way that you're not going to hit that level or there's no way that you're not going to make that money. What could you do, right? Contact if, people. Sorry? Contact of course. People. Contact people, talk to team, Live. you know, do personal development, do Facebook Lives, do whatever, right? You, each and every one of you, you'll have a different stack because each and every one of you have different dreams, right? My dream now, my goal now, is to help six people in my team to make 100000 a year. That's my goal, right? That might not be your goal, right? So the activity that I have to do might be slightly different from the activity that you have to do because I have a different goal. I have a different plan. I have a different ambition, right? So for each and every one of you, you'll be different. But you have to be honest here with yourself, right? Because if you go, ah, if I speak to one person a day and I buy 50 points of products every month, right? Then yeah, you're gonna get to that result in about 50 years, right? No problem, if you're okay to wait that long, carry on doing your 50 points a month, right? No problem with that, right? But if you want it quicker, then you've got to adjust the numbers, right? So one of my team members calls me up, one of my millionaires in training calls me up, she goes, I want a car in the next three months. I go, great, but probably that number will have to change, and probably that number will have to change, right? Because you want it quicker, then I can get it for you, you understand? But the business becomes so predictable. Because business has become so simple. Before, my business was chaos. Like I didn't know what is working, what is not working, why is it working, or why people are quitting, or why people are joining. It was just a nightmare. Now, it's very straightforward. It's very predictable. It's very clear in my head. I don't know if you see that. Can you see a bit of that clarity so far? Right? Does this make sense? Right? So, so that's what you need to think, what is my stack of activity, because habits is just another word for activity. If you do something for 21 days in a row every single day, it becomes a habit, right? So, you know, they say habits are the best of servants or the worst of masters. But habits will control your life either way, either good ones or the bad ones, right? So it's better to actually develop the good ones, right? Because your habits will shape your destiny, right? So it's really, really important. So once you understand that, then you start putting those activities in place, right? So share a product with one person. Hey, would you take a look? And one of the best ways 
is public use. Using your products publicly, right? Some of you have heard Irina's story where mm -hmm. she took the bottle of perfume in the train and she went psh, 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 but the thing was turned around and it went out. And people in the train car went, oh, that's a nice smell, right? And that started a conversation and the panic dropped, right? So then Irina would always spray the perfume like that and go, right? And the whole train starts talking to her, right? Or maybe if you went to work and you started mixing up that water with that inner balance, people go, well, what's that? Well, that's the thing that helps me sleep and it helps me feel well. Would you like to know more about it? Or if you went to work and apply that perfume, somebody might go, oh, that's nice, where did you buy it? Well, actually, I said it, right? So public use of products very, very often encourage people to ask you, hey, what's that? Hey, what are you using, right? Or for example, using your products on a Facebook Live. If you go live, you know, if you're pretty like me, you can do the makeup, right? And then people will ask, hey, what's the lipstick you're using, Gediminas? What's that mascara, right? And you can sell loads of it, right? Make sense so far? Okay. Are you, are you still awake? Just one. Right? Yeah, sure. One a day. One a day, right? Okay, now, this is what we call baseline level of activity. Meaning minimum. Baseline is another word for minimum, right? So you can do, even if you just do that, even if I know if a person will just do that, they will start getting results. But if you want them faster, if you want them bigger, then all you have to do is just do a little bit more. You know, the, the, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little word extra. That's all. So to become a, a, a master in network marketing, you don't need to be a superhuman. You don't need to be a superman, right? All you have to do is do a little bit More. extra, right? Speak to that one person extra. Do that one presentation extra. Do that one Zoom extra. Do that one product presentation extra, right? And it will put you miles ahead of most people over time. So that's not one day, right? But it, imagine every day when you feel like, oh, okay, I've done enough for today, but let me just call one more person. Over a week, that's seven people. Over a month, that's 28 people. Over a year, that's hundreds of more people than somebody else have called. That's what will put you on top, right? And guess what? All of these activities, all the prospecting, you know, we said this is Yum, 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 tasty, tasty, right? This is not so much, right? Reaching out to people, people looking at you weird, people laughing at you, people saying, ah, you're one of those pyramid things, right? That's not very nice, right? And what most people think that the rock stars, you know, like you saw on the presentation, the lady with 250,000 check, right? They think, well, for them, it's easy. They're natural at it, you know, they like, they just walk out of the house and people fall under their feet, throw credit cards at them, throw cash at them, you know, just go, where do I sign, right? No, it sucks for them too. They hate it too. But the difference is, they do it anyway. That's the difference. Even now, like, I don't know for you, Anna, but I know most leaders, even if they're diamond, even if they're Grand Puba King Kong champion level, right? They still don't go, I can't wait to prospect people. I can't wait to speak to strangers and then look at me weirdly, right? Like, they get better at it. They know how to do it better, but it's not like they don't look forward to it. They don't go, I can't wait to go and speak to strangers on the street, right? But they do it anyway, because they know that that's what's going to get them the result. Whereas the unsuccessful people go, eh, that's uncomfortable. I'm not doing that, right? That's not like me, right? Get over it, right? You have to just do it, right? There's nothing to it but to do it. So that's three. Four, my mark is going out. Four is share business with one person, right? So these are outside of social media, right? So you might be prospecting 20, 30, 40, 50 people on social media. You still need to talk to people in the real world, right? So it's just one a day, right? So this could be, you know, sharing business and sharing product. Maybe you message somebody on WhatsApp. Maybe you bought some leads and you call them. Maybe you speak to that lady at Tesco's. You know, you look around, there's nobody in the queue. You go, hey, would you take a look, right? You can do that, right? Maybe at church, maybe at work, maybe, but with, an, with another person, another source of prospecting outside of Facebook. Don't just get hung up on one thing, right? Because a lot of people, again, go, I've sent my five messages. I'm waiting now. When is this going to come back to me, right? No, you do those messages and you go do something else, right? To keep going, right? Okay. And again, 
You don't do the presentation. You do the story. That's all you're allowed to say. And story consists of four parts, right? What did I do before? What did I not like about it? How did I find network marketing? And what's my, go what's my result so far? Or what's my vision, right? So my name is Gediminas. I came to this country 14 years ago to study psychology. I used to work as a security guard earning 1,500 pounds a month, then finished university, got my psychologist diploma, started working in a school and started earning 950 pounds a month. 50% <laughs> less than I, before finishing university, right? That obviously shocked me. You know, I started looking for something better. Network marketing came up, right? Joined the business, fast forward eight years, got a car, got trips to Cyprus, Mallorca, Indonesia, Dubai, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, America, mm -hmm. Russia, Ukraine. Are you jealous yet? Yeah. Uh, got a brand new car from the company, blah, blah, blah. But you might be sitting there thinking, well, I didn't get any trips, any cars, any nothing. Totally cool. Then you share your vision. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit diamond. My goal is to reach this. And my goal is to do that. My goal is to retire my husband, wife, whatever, right? So you, then you share your vision because most people, they don't even have a plan. They are what they call dead end job where that's it. It's like, this is for the rest of my life, right? And they hate that. So just the fact that when you share your story with them, they go, she has a plan. She has a way out of the rat race. I want that, right? So that's your story. And then you show a video or you do a freeway call with your sponsor, right? And you let your sponsor to do the presentation. You let your sponsor to do the speaking, right? Why? To show the business duplicatable, right? Make sense? Yeah. Okay. And last, number five, 15 to 30 minutes a day of personal development, right? So read a book, watch a video, listen to audio, whatever it is to grow themselves. Because after all of this, do you think there's any chance they will be a little bit disappointed sometimes? Is there any chance? Is there any chance after they speak to five people on Facebook, have five conversations with team, share with project, that somebody will say no to them? Any chance that somebody will say no to them? Yes. Yeah, so could they be disappointed by the end of the day a little bit? Like, ah, oh, well, I did again, I didn't recruit anybody, right? So that will pick them up, right? So if they do the personal development, it'll grow them as a person. They'll keep to it, they'll stick to it, right? So that's the daily plan. So five conversations social on Facebook, how long would, you, would it take you to send five messages on Facebook? Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Literally a minute, right? I'll give you five, five minutes. Five conversations with team members, right? Oh, yeah, I'll give you five minutes per team member, right? So that's 25 minutes plus five, half an hour, right? Hey, would you take a look at my product? One minute. Hey, would you take a look at my business? One minute, right? So that's 32 minutes. And 30 minutes of personal development. That's one hour and two minutes a day. Even if you're working 8 hours a day, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, if you wanted to, could you do this? Yeah. A few minutes in the morning, a few minutes during lunch break, a few minutes on your way home from work. He said, anybody could do this. Now, if you have more time on your hands, if you're not working, could you do more of that? Probably, right? So it's free. Again, if every single person will have a plan of their own, right? Okay. Has this been helpful so far? Has this made any sense, right? So there's one last thing that I need to share with you, and that's what to say. So what will you say to those Facebook members? Here's my link, join my business, yeah? No. No? No, isn't that what everybody does? Right? Okay. So I'll show you a very, very easy way how to approach those people. When you're approaching somebody, the formula is very simple. It just has to contain two things. Check if they are open and give them an out. Check if they're open and give them an out. So it would sound like, hey Kashima, I can see you on my friends list, I can see we've never communicated before. I'm not sure what you do for a living, but I've been working with a very exciting project where I'm helping people to earn extra income from home. I'm just curious, would you be open to take a look at some information? And if no, no big deal. It might be for you, maybe not for you at all. Does that sound a little bit better than, hey Kashima, here's my link, join my team. You can make a million tomorrow. Is that a little bit better? Is that a little bit more professional? Right? So, right? I, I, if, if you want, just, just message me and I can send it to you. But it's, the exact words doesn't really matter, right? But as long as you make sure that you ask if they're open and you, and you make it easy for them to say no to you. 
Because the reason why network marketing has this bad stigma, the reason why network marketing had this bad reputation is because I'm a friend with, uh, with Shabana and I come to Shab uh, I, I join network marketing and I go, oh my gosh, Shabana could absolutely rock it. So I come to Shabana and go, Shabana, I just started this amazing business. You have to join my team. We're going to be making millions. It's going to be insane, etc. Now, Does that sound like I gave her a choice? No. And that's why she's going to hate my guts for that. She's not going to say I hate your guts, but now I'm putting her in a situation where she joins my business, but she doesn't want to do it, so she hates me for that, or she has to say no to me, which is very confrontational now, because like I didn't give her a chance to say no, so now I'm going to be like, she's thinking he's going to hate me for that, that's why she hates me, so it just becomes a complete nightmare, right? And that's why people hate to be prospected by network marketers, because network marketers are insane, right? They, they, they're suicidal people, right? They just really put you in a bad situation. So when you come up like that, you go, hey, Shabana, I just started this homeless business. Look, I don't know if this would be even for you or not, but I'm just curious, would you take a look at the short video about my business? And if no, no big deal, totally cool. Does that a little bit different energy? Does that take a bit of a pressure away from her? I like the first one bit. Right? Does that show that I'm not too desperate about it? Right? So that's the whole intention, right? And you can use this on social media, but guess what? You can use it anyway. You could send the same thing on your WhatsApp message. You could say the same thing. Hey Tom, I don't know what you're doing nowadays. You know, you go on a high street and you bump into somebody you haven't seen in ages. Hey Tom, look, I, I'm in a rush now. I don't even know what you're doing right nowadays, but I'm with this exciting home based business where I'm helping people earn extra income. Not sure if this would be for you or not, but would you be open to take a look at it? And if no, no big deal, right? Does that make sense? Super easy, right? So if they say yes, you send them a video, right? You send them a video, go, hey, uh, actually, before you send them a video, what you would do, you'd ask them, how soon will you watch it? So if I message Shabana, hey, Shabana, would you take a look at some information? If no, no big deal. And Shabana goes, yeah, I'll take a look. I'll go, great. I have an amazing 12-minute video that explains the whole thing. How soon could you watch it? Why am I doing that? To follow up. Up. Now I know when to follow up. If she'll watch it tonight, I'll, uh, I will follow up tomorrow. If she watches in the week's time, I'll follow up a bit. So I grab my diary and I go, okay, Shabana, follow up on this time, right? That's what I do, right? I don't, I don't just make this stuff up, right? So I follow up with her at that time, right? So I know when to follow up. And then I send her a video and I go, as soon as you watch it, let me know. Yeah, let me know. Which nobody will do. Just, just to let you know, and I'll show you how to get started, right? So very few out of 100 messages you send, maybe one will call you back and go, hey, I watched the video, it's totally amazing, can I join your team, right? I know you expect that everybody will do that. No, 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 no. That's why you arranged the follow-up, right? So you will follow up with them and go, hey, did you watch the video? And now, if you're like me, You'll think, oh my gosh, I don't want to bother these people. If they were interested, they would have called me back. They would have messaged me. Now I'm bothering them. I'm pestering them, right? I don't know how many times I've messaged somebody or I send a text message or a message on Facebook or whatever. Go, hey, John, did you watch the video I sent you? And they go, oh man, I was super busy. I'll watch it, right? But unless I've reminded them, they wouldn't have watched it and they wouldn't have reached out to me. And I'm now making stories in my, oh, he wasn't interested, so that's fine. You know, and that, that guy wasn't interested too. So do the freaking follow up. You'll see how much more results you'll start getting. I promise you. Follow up, right? Because it's like a few steps in network marketing. The first step is actually talking to people, right? And I mean talking loosely, messaging, talking, etc. Like, most people don't even do that. Like they join network marketing and they become a network marketing secret agent. They put the sample kit in a cupboard under the sink and they wait for people to come and knock on the door and go, Hey, I joined you. I heard you doing a business. Can I join it? I heard you selling some products. Can you join me some? Right? Ain't going to happen, right? So you have to start talking to people. And most people just don't do that. They just don't reach out to enough people, right? But some people start doing that, right? Then the second step, so that's the first step. Second step is then follow up. Most start talking to people, then they just go, where can I find new people? Where can I find more people? Where can I find more people? They never go back to the ones they reached out. So it's harder for them 
Because they have to keep finding new people. They have to keep finding. Like half of my calls now are follows up. Like half of my messages are following up messages, right? So if I did 50 messages today, 25 of them were, hey, did you watch the video I sent? Hey, did you watch the information I sent, right? So do the follow up, right? Because that's going to get you more money, right? And then step number three is actually working with those people that you recruit. Again, like a lot of people do this first too. They actually get people signing up and go, well, nobody's doing anything in my team because you're not working with them. That's why they're not doing anything. There's a reason for that, right? So that's also very, very important, right? So that's how you reach out to them, right? Now, once you follow them up, right? Um, some people will not respond to you, right? Do you believe that? Yes. A lot of people are not going to respond to you. Hundreds. And if you do it properly, thousands of people are not going to respond to you if you do it properly. Because if you get those numbers in, a lot of people are not going to respond to you. So you're going to use a few things. One thing you're going to use is a four-day follow-up, right? So first day, or actually three-day follow-up, sorry. So after 24 hours after you send them information, you go, hey, John, did you watch the video, right? Or, hey, John, we had an appointment, you know, if it's a phone call, right? Etc. right? If they don't respond to you, they don't answer, you send a second message. Hey, John, sent you a message yesterday, haven't heard from you, you know, have you watched the video? If not interested anymore, just let me know, it's totally cool, right? Second message. <laughs> Third message then, if they haven't responded to you, another day later, you go, hey John, I've reached out to you twice, haven't heard from you, I'm assuming you're no longer interested in earning extra income, so I'm going to remove you from my list and I'm not going to, whatever, right? So that's the third message, you can do that. Also, four days later, you can do the thing where you go, uh, for example, if you just send them a video and they haven't got back to you, about four days later or more, you can reach out to them and go, hey Shabana, I have to apologize. I was super busy with my new team members and new customers starting. Didn't really have time to reach out to you. How are you? Not have you watched the video? Are you joining my team? How are you? Because if you start with have you watched the video, etc., ain't gonna respond. So I go, hey, Shabana, how are you? And she'll go, I'm okay. I'm good, right? Now I go, did you watch the video then? <laughs> right? So they're gonna get her to respond. Make a chance that she will respond. And then finally, you're going to put them on the list that you will call follow up until they pass away, right? That's the system, right? Follow up until they pass away, right? And the formula there is, again, very, very simple. It's update plus deflection, right? So let's say I, I sent some information to... Uh, I'll stop picking on Shabana because she'll not talk to me. Uh, I sent a message to Ludmila. She hasn't responded to me four days later, but hey, I was super busy with all the new customers, new team members, how are you? She still hasn't responded to me. Then a month later, and every month from then on, I'll send her a message and go, hey Ludmila, I know my business is not for you, but my friend Anna just picked up a brand new Mercedes from the company. Maybe you know somebody who would like to get a brand new car and earn some extra income on the side? Update plus deflection. My friend lost weight, my friend made some money, my friend got a brand new car, or I got something, right? Update and deflection. I know this business is not for you. No? She doesn't respond to that message, no problem. Two months later, hey Ludmila, I know my business is not for you, but my friend Susie just lost five pounds within the last three weeks using our new slimming program. Maybe you know somebody who would like to lose weight and make some extra income on the side? And I'll keep messaging her month after month after well, month after well, month. Well, Huh? Right? Or whatever, right? It's just find an excuse to message them, right? Update plus deflection. Until I'm going to get her ready. Right? Because somebody who says no to you, it doesn't mean no forever. It means no right now. Right? But if you keep following up, you'll catch them. Because life change, people get jobs, people lose jobs, people, you know, get pregnant, people get married, people get divorced, etc. So life change, and somebody who's not ready today might be super ready six months from now. But most of us, we give up too easily. Because you go, oh, she's not interested. I am talking to her ever again, right? Because she didn't enjoy my business, right? That's just stupid. That's just dumb, right? Keep in touch with those people because six months from now, a year from now, they might be totally ready, right? So just be, keep messaging, right? And you'll be surprised. Uh, six months from now, a year from now, you send that message again, and they go, oh, I'm so glad you messaged me, Shabana. I was just thinking about you, right? It's the right time. It's the right time now. You got them, right? And they'll join the business. They'll start doing etc. right? A good example, uh, you know, uh, Christina in our real estate. Fourth time in the business, right? She was deleted from the system three times before, right? Fourth time in the business. She's now Amaranth on the main ID, Pearl on another two IDs and 21% on the, on the fourth ID. 
I don't know how much she's making, but she's making a lot of money, right? And, and that's money four, times money. right? But that's four times, fourth time in business. Somebody would have said, "Oh my gosh, you've been in the business three times, didn't do anything, waste of time. I ain't gonna work with you anymore, right?" Would it be wise? Would it be clever, right? So it's just some people are not ready, right? You might have been. I've been in this business for eight years, and guess what? I know that I was not ready. <laughs> you know, two years ago, I was in a different place where I am today. Now I'm ready. Can you feel that I'm ready? Yes. <laughs> right. So that's my training for today. Uh, any questions? Good. Awesome.